So I was down at Coco's, which I later found out was owned and operated by our very own Mr. Jalopy. And there comes this vending machine with this, like, religious pamphlet thing that you get for a dollar. Except for this is Mr. Jalopy's pocket guide to life and death with modest automobiles. The young man behind the counter said very matter-of-factly that uh, these were printed by Mr. Jalopy, but he had no idea where the text came from. I'd like to think that the man writes it himself, but whatever. Buy with love, but eyes wide open. Old car road tripping is a pursuit for nobility, for bare knuckle fist fighters, John Steinbeck, hard drinking poets, Jack Kerouac, field scientists, and sophisticates like you and me. If your aspirations are to putt putt to the corner store, a Fiat Brava, or perhaps even a derelict Alpha would uh, probably get you there in a puff of smoke. However, if you want to see Buffalo, the Everglades, and the drug wall stick with American iron for maximum reliability, serviceability, and parts availability. What about Volvo? Sure. There are exceptions. What about Mercedes? Buy it, money bags. But don't cry to me about the $160 wheel cylinder. <laughs>